Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, my comic book friends, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I am Gary, your host. And this is where I like to take a look at some older comics, talk a little bit about the characters and creators, and examine the stories in the art. Okay. This time, I'm going to take a look at Scorpia from Russ Martin. This is Scorpia issues one and two from Miller Publishing, 1992. And as I said, that's Russ Martin. And I really couldn't find anything about Russ Martin and or Scorpia. Uh, largely because <laughs> there's a shock jock radio host and, uh, and some ball player have the same name. And that's all that comes up. But there just may not be anything out there on him. Uh, I did found, find some other comics drawn by him, if it's the same Russ Martin. Uh, Ash Aman. And uh, Miller, this is Miller Publishing Company, did uh, uh, worked for uh, j just a, a few years, and they published stuff like this and others. Um, stuff that uh, could be considered um, outlaw comics or power comics. If you happen to to uh, watch uh, the Power Comics uh, YouTube channel, you will at least be f be familiar with the uh, with the publisher. And as I show you here on the back, has uh, some of the others, and among them, it's Scorpia and Trial Run, and among them is John Tar. So if you, uh, and they say that. Basically, that John Tar is the epitome of of the power comics, and has recently re, uh, been republished the entire entire run of, of the John Tar stories. Um, but this this might not actually qualify as a power comic, just because the artwork is too good. He's a little too skilled. And uh, they also, uh, like I said, John Tar, and also had uh, uh, published uh, Wild Men, Wild Man uh, stuff from uh, Grass Green, and uh, in their in two issues of uh, their Trial Runs uh, title, which is just uh, an anthology uh, title, uh, I've had I had three stories uh, published myself back then. But not in these. Okay, now Scorpia is a little ambiguous. I, I've got issues one and two. There is a teaser for a, a third issue at the end of the second second issue. I don't know if it was ever published or not. I can't find anything about it or on it. Uh, I had in my re, uh, modest research, I did see uh, stuff about these two covers, you know, featuring these two covers, but I I couldn't find anything else. So maybe they. Maybe there's a third one flying around out there someplace. Okay. And here we have Scorpia, number one. This is kind of dramatic there. And some, some nice artwork. Not necessarily uh, uh, proper for mainstream comics. I, I don't see, really see necessarily see why not. But is... Very appealing. I, I like it. And very skilled. Here, this is a 12-issue, 12 12-panel 12, uh, first page is following this kitty cat because the, the notion of a kitty cat comes back. Scorpia, right in the middle of, uh, middle of some action going on. And Scorpia appears to be some kind of uh, um, good gang leader. Uh, almost a vigilante on her, in her own right, helping uh, the helping people in a, a poor neighborhood of whatever city this happens to be. And uh, she's been taking out some some thugs here, and then uh, approached by this man who just is just gone goes by the moth, has this um, this this um, uh, mask on, and uh, gives her a, a little doohickey uh, because they're. 
involving something from uh, some uh, devilish cult uh, uh, going on in the neighborhood and uh, to help help her uh, um, help people out I guess she goes to the uh, blue bottle uh, lounge and you can see the really nice and it some nice skilled artwork the artwork really really reminds me of I think and I think he had a strong stylistic influence from by uh, from the work of Spain Rod Rodriguez the uh, uh, underground artist and uh, even even to the to the uh, the way he gets so much detail and stuff crammed into um, some of the panels background and stuff. And I think it's very good. She goes there, uh, tries to get information on the cult from uh, this is where she she works out of basically, and uh, from and I guess she has a room in there too. Anyway, she, um, while she's talking with her with her friends, this guy in a wheelchair by the name of Baron Kulak comes and uh, talks to her a little bit and has got his doctor, 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 doctor Bain uh, with him. And he is, uh, and Kulak is a well-known, rich, really rich guy. And, uh, and he tries to uh, put her off of the, uh, the, uh, the cult that she's interested in. So, and then they leave. And now here, I wanted to show you. I have to bring this down here. This panel right here. I mean, that's just a, such a lovely, lovely face. And you see that, that particular face all over for her. And uh, equally skilled on like some of these other faces here. But that face there really reminds me of some Golden Age Wonder Woman drawings. Uh, you know, from the from the forties. So that may have been an influence. I don't know. And it, even if it is, that's not a, not a bad thing. Some lovely art. Uh, it has a little side story about one of the side characters, uh, which is immaterial, uh, involving some aliens and inter interdimensional stuff. Then uh, some some nutcase goes around sh blasting up the neighborhood. Never hits anybody, but just shoots in the air. Just uh, property damage. And here we see the moth with his girl. Even <laughs> even in his underwear, he still got the mask on. And. Uh, then that Baron Kulak's wife shows up to see um, Scorpia, and uh, uh, she wants help because she thinks the Baron uh, Doctor Bane is has uh, a, a bad influence on her, having some bad influence on her husband, who has completely changed uh, since he started seeing him more. So, so uh, she they go down to where she, this is. And it turns out this is all related to the cult. Uh, her husband's wired up to some gizmo. And then we see uh, the girls, uh, uh, the wife and Scorpio herself, confronted by a panther. And the panther can talk. Not only can it talk, it's got the mind of Baron Kulak. <clears throat> this is also weird. She go, uh, goes on, continues on, it, and then finds the cult in this subterranean cavern that seems bigger on the inside than on the outside. So I'll say that. And there's the, the, the cat Baron Kulak as the cat, uh, uh leading the, uh, uh, cult, cult members. And here's some nice, really nice, nice work here in this, the fight scenes and in this crowd scene and just crammed with, with intricate detail. Uh, uh, enough to be actually distracting, really, but it's just very beautifully done. Uh, they attack her, fight, fight, fight. Goes into the uh, the th um, into the temple, and uh, she, f even though she's severely injured, she follows the cat, and then whoop, they're zipped through some kind of uh, wormhole thing, and she turns up some interdimensional beings, uh, um, heal her, and give her some powers because they can't function here, and some of their because there's some of their people have crossed over, and uh, conditions on our in our universe. Um, is detrimental to them and they go mad so here we go she comes back fully healed and she has powers zaps the people keeps them back the the uh, in the process 
earlier the machinery was destroyed uh so baron kulak cannot get back into his own body which now is probably dead and uh Turns out that the uh, the doc, Dr. Bane is one of the extra dimensional beings who has gone insane when, when he crossed over into our universe. And uh, uh, the cat takes off. Uh, he, he escapes. The cat takes off with his wife because she's going to stay with him because after all, he is her husband. And then Scorpia goes off and there's still the moth. So moth is going to be somewhere. So here we have a have a, a thing for a trial run, and uh, then in issue two, we, uh, uh, I'm not going to go into the story, but uh, the same quality artwork. It's completely different different storyline, but traces come back like the cat. <laughs> His wife got him a whole stack of hamburgers. Uh, the the panther, and then the geeks got these ali weird. Goofy alien people crashing down on Earth. Uh, Scorpia is having some dreams. She's not uh, the use of the powers that she was given really drains her, and they got some weird and extra dimensional things happening to her. And again, just the, the beautiful artwork. And then these aliens, and they start wreaking havoc, and they have a very Kirby-ish look to them, like strong Kirby influence in that. And in the process, something happens to one another uh, person, uh, side person, who is very nicely drawn, who is not, uh, not directly associated with Scorpia. And there's these geeks are, are goofy. And they're cra intentionally crashing themselves. Well, in the process, the thing causes this, uh, this guy on, the, on a motorcycle to become a uh, motorcycle. <laughs> the first cycle path. And he is the revenge of the motor motorcycle, and it's and that's where 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 that ends. Uh, supposed to leading into a third issue. I'd like to see a third issue. I like it. I enjoy reading it. I wouldn't mind seeing more. I, I wouldn't go for a monthly monthly issue, monthly title, but a few of them. Are. And I like really like this drawing here that for the ad for a uh, new trial run, which I don't think I've seen before and so that is all i've got for you this time it's a lot of fun very uh, um um very much outlaw type comics uh, i like the stuff i had a hard time uh, finding these i had them i've had them for decades and i had this stuff squirreled away and i couldn't find them and then i found them by accident uh, so that's all i've got for you please like share and subscribe and and let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this Scorpia? Or is it does it or does it sound interesting to you? Have you ever read, read these? Because these were not. I had to order these. Uh, they were not uh, uh, distributed. None of these books were distributed in my general area. I had to respond to uh, uh, a classified ad in some comic publication. I've forgotten what it was. And. Uh, well, let me just overall let me know what you think. If are, if you're a fan of of Spain Rod Rodriguez, do you see the the Spain influence in here the way I do? Let me know what you think in the comments comments below. And remember, comics are art.